Hey there, I am Marup Said, a microbiologist and a science educator. Science is my passion and I'm here to share it with you. Difference between homozygous versus heterozygous. But before starting this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's begin with a table of contents. First, we will define what is homozygous and then we will define what is heterozygous and after understanding these, we will have a key difference between these both and we will see a few examples of homozygous genotypes and heterozygous genotypes. Let's begin with definition of homozygous. Homozygous denotes a genetic state where an individual inherits identical alleles of a gene from both parents. In homozygous chromosomes, alleles are either both dominant or both recessive. Homozygous dominant chromosomes carry two copies of the dominant trade alleles, while homozygous recessive chromosomes carry two copies of recessive trait alleles. The expression of the dominant trait in homozygous organisms occurs when both chromosomes carry a dominant gene at the same locus. True breeding mechanisms result in organisms being homozygous for constant traits. Asexual reproduction methods like parenthenogenesis leads to homozygous chromosome formation ensuring identical phenotypic characteristics in offspring. Homozygosity is primarily defined at the locus where copies of the gene on the reciprocal homozygous chromosomes are identical. Homozygous cells or organisms are referred to as homozygotes. Genes in homozygous chromosomes exhibit detectable sequence similarities in nucleotides and coded proteins. Homozygous chromosomes are observed in various genes such as those determining eye color, example BP for brown eyes and may lead to diseases in homozygous recessive genotypes. Now let's understand what is heterozygous. Heterozygous refers to a genetic condition where an individual inherits different alleles of a gene from both parents. Heterozygosity occurs in diploid organisms where a gene contains two different alleles at a locus, example B capital and small b for eye color. In heterozygous chromosomes where trade expressed through complete dominance, only the dormant alleles trade is expressed. In complex dominance schemes, gene expression becomes more intricate. In incomplete dominance, the genotypic trait observed is intermediate between dominant and recessive phenotypes, while co-dominance results in the distinct phenotypes expressed by individual alleles in different body parts. The heterozygous genotype often exhibits higher fitness than homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive genotypes, termed hybrid vigor. Sexual breeding mechanisms result in organisms being heterozygous for varied traits. Sexual reproduction methods contribute to heterozygous chromosome formation, ensuring phenotypic diversity between parents and offspring. Heterozygosity is mainly defined at the locus where copies of the gene on the reciprocal homologous chromosomes are different. Heterozygous cells or organisms are termed heterozygote and may be associated with genetic conditions, with the manifestation depending on whether the mutated alley is dominant or recessive. Diseases such as Huntington's disease, Marfan's syndrome, and familial hypercholesterolemia are linked to heterozygous genotypes. If this video is helpful, don't forget to support my channel by subscribing to it. Let's see the key difference between these both heterozygous and homozygous. The basis of comparison is first definition. Homozygous is a genetic condition where an individual inherits the same alleles of the gene from both the parents, whereas heterozygous is genetic condition 
where an individual inherits different alleles of the gene from the two parents. Next, genotype representation. Homozygous genotypes are represented as capital AA or small AA for homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive conditions respectively, whereas heterozygous genotypes are represented by capital A and small a genotypes. Let's see the phenotypes. Two different phenotypes are possible with dominant or recessive homozygous conditions, whereas in heterozygous, the phenotype is mostly due to the dominant alleles in the heterozygous condition. Let's see gametes. Homozygous genotypes result in a single type of gametes, whereas heterozygous genotypes result in two different types of gametes. Traits Homozygous genotype produce the same traits over different generations, whereas heterozygous genotypes produce different traits over different generations. Hybrid vigor The homozygous condition doesn't show hybrid vigor, whereas heterozygous condition shows. Types Homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive are two types of homozygous conditions, whereas the heterozygous conditions can be expressed in three different ways co-dominance, incomplete dominance, and complete dominance. Also called organisms or cells with the homozygous conditions are termed as homozygotes, whereas organisms or cells with the heterozygous conditions are termed as heterozygotes. Observed in Homozygous genotypes are observed in animals reproducing by asexual means, whereas heterozygous genotypes are mostly seen in animals reproducing by sexual means. Diseases Common diseases associated with homozygous condition include fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, and phenylketoluria. Common diseases associated with heterozygous conditions include Huntington's disease, Marfan syndrome, and familia hypercholesterolemia. If you find my videos helpful, don't forget to support this channel by subscribing. Let's see the examples of homozygous genotypes. First, eye color. The dominant trait for eye color is brown, BB capital genotype in homozygous individuals. Homozygous recessive individuals, small bb genotype, express recessive traits like blue, green, or gray eyes. Homozygous genotypes ensure that the genes for eye color on both chromosomes are identical. Next example, freckles. Freckles controlled by the MC1R gene are a dominant trait. Homozygous dominant individuals express the dominant alleles and have freckles. Homozygous recessive individuals, no freckles, have an identical genotype for the freckles gene. Let's see the examples of heterozygous genotypes. Sickle cell anemia Sickle cell anemia is a recessive trait affecting blood cell formation. Heterozygous individuals express the dominant trait, preventing the anemic condition. The advantage lies in avoiding the structural changes that occur in red blood cells in sickle cell anemia. Next, curly hair. The dominant trait for the hair type is curly and the straight hair is the homozygous recessive condition. Heterozygous individuals exhibit wavy hair showcasing incomplete dominance. In complete dominance, the heterozygous conditions may result in curly hair, maintaining a balance between the dominant and recessive traits. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much.